Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Thank you for pressing play, for spending a little time with me. I'm at the old set. This is the old days, right? This is uh, this is where the channel first blew up, and I was talking again. That's why I felt that it was fitting. I was talking about space, Uranus, and all the crazy stuff that's happening up there, out there. If it's even there, I don't know. You tell me in the comment section. I know a lot of people got a lot of different ideas, but today I'm just going to talk about the news. The news, because there's a lot of stuff going on. There's like space wars going on. There's like pew, pew, pew. India shooting down satellites. Pew, 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 pew. Japan's blowing up asteroids. And NASA's about to do the same. It's about to pff, smack into another gigantoid asteroid that's been giving him some problems. We had some new news about that Nibiru. Nibiru, Planet 9, Planet X. That's right. I said in a couple of videos again that it was my prediction, eh? <laughs> if you speak French. That Planet X, Planet 9, Nibiru, Hercopolis, whatever you want to call it, will be, uh, will be discovered. That they're going to say that it's there. A lot of the evidence is pointing to that right now. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about, so I hope you buckled up! Okay, so the first big news, the first big thing that's happening is Japan. I talked about this before, the Hayabusa. I think that's the name of the, the Hayabusa 2. Hayabusa! Ah! Hayabusa! Uh, I think that's the way they say it. I think that's the way they say it. Detonated an explosive device over a small asteroid. They just did that. They just dropped it, and there's, there's footage of it. You want to take a look at it? So the goal was to create this fresh crater. Yeah, got a lot of, lot of space agencies. All of a sudden, they're interested in smashing into rocks, blowing them up like that movie Armageddon. Remember with Bruce Willis? Remember? Remember? He used to be like the uh, number one Hollywood, you know, uh, action star. Yeah, and uh, he still is in my heart. Right on, Bruce. Researchers watched from Mission Control in Japan and clapped Politely, I love how they clap. <laughs> they just did something extraordinary. They and and, uh, and this article says they clap politely. I don't know. In NASA, they're usually like hooting and hollering and everything else. But we never know why they're doing that, right? Because it's never a straight answer. They don't give us all the news. No, they don't. They actually just a couple of years back when I was doing shows on uh, Nibiru, I was talking about this, and a lot of people are talking about this. So NASA came out and they did a video where the guy's like, "Let me tell you something. This is all imaginary. It's all make believe." But now. Now, now, this elliptical orbit, right? It's like 10 times the size of Earth. This planet, this planet nine that they're saying, their prediction is that they're going to uh, discover it within a decade. But I say no. I say 2019 is the planet nine year. That's what's going to happen. So if there's some gigantic, ginormous planet, 10 times the mass of Earth coming in, it would bounce a lot of stuff around in the Kuiper Belt, right? And when it comes in from the Oort cloud and into the Kuiper Belt, the latest estimates are it's like right out there, right? And a lot of people, they, there's a lot of disinformation out there. So it's uh, don't listen to Planet Nine because it's gonna crash into the Earth, but that's not really the thing, right? If it gets a little closer because of its mass, it wobbles everything and it messes everything up. I don't have any information. I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not an astrophysicist, so I don't know the ins and outs of this stuff. But everything that I've read says that when this stuff comes around, what it does is it it perturbs other objects and sends them in all these different directions. Maybe that's why you got. Japan and uh, and other countries and NASA right with their Osiris Rex mission did a video on that they're trying to you know collect a, a sample using this thing called the tag sam which comes down and and uh, they puff a little dirt suck it up and then they're gonna send it back to uh, supposedly 
discover the origins of the universe. They think that the asteroid's gonna give them the answer. That's the same line they used in Japan when they po politely could be like, yes, it was just to find out about the, it has nothing to do with knocking asteroids off course or seeing if they can blow it up because they think that maybe perhaps something could be coming in and knocking a bunch of stuff our way. So you got all of these space agencies working on like this, you know, like the Star Wars, like Reagan's Star Wars plan where they're gonna be, you know, there's gonna be like space battles, galactic space battle, right? That's what just happened to in India. India, I don't know if you heard the news about that, they just blew up a satellite. Yeah, they blew up a satellite, and of course, NASA's, one of NASA's heads guys was very upset about this, was like, you just put the uh, space station at risk. All that debris. They said it was like 30,000 pieces of debris now that they're tracking. It's a lot to track. Right? That's why they use AI, supposedly. Or none of it's real. I mean, it's up to you, right? It's uh, YouTube. The Ministry of Defense released a video presentation, uh, Mission Shakti. On Saturday, after successfully conducting an anti-satellite test on March 27th, the uh, video shared on Facebook traces the inception of the plan. So this was like an interceptor missile that they sent up. It has like these three stages and it, uh, and it blows up. It targets and it blows the uh, satellite up or whatever it's targeting, right? Now, here's the thing. You, you got a lot of videos online about those direct energy weapons that they say, oh no, they don't exist. But we know that, you know, they've been working on this stuff for a long time. Okay, so they, they actually admitted to this. <laughs> India, they said, we're working on a number of technologies, including direct energy weapons, lasers, EMPs, that the EMP is a, is a big deal, and, uh, and everything goes dark, and you got no power, and it is, you better, you know, I don't know, you better have some food or some water, and you better uh, be quiet so nobody comes and steals it from you, or, uh, you know, or else. Scary times, scary times when you start thinking about that stuff. But yes, of course, they're developing that technology, they're saying, as well as co-orbital weapons. So this, yeah, this is the, uh, the chief, Sa Sashi Reddy. He was um, a head guy. He's saying that like it has perfect accuracy. So that's kind of a big deal, right? And as all of this stuff is going down, right? We've got all these asteroids trying to be blown up. The, um, the, the Hayabusa spacecraft, which just successfully did it, didn't blow it up though. And we don't know, like did, did, could that have just knocked it closer to us? I don't know, but I, it's pretty far. I don't think that they're too worried about that. I don't think, in my personal opinion, I don't think they're really trying to uh, see if they can uh, find out how everything came to be by, you know, because I don't, think that's, I don't think that's what it's about. I think it's about like trying to knock them off course because they are worried that maybe there is a planet that's coming in and that maybe, you know, over the next decade or decades or a hundred years or whatever, or uh, sooner, I don't think too soon. I don't think too soon, you know. Um, <laughs> They're worried, okay? Because that could explain, here's the thing, right? That could explain too, if a planet comes in, it could explain why there's been a like slight pole shift, that like that true north is no longer true north, the magnetic field's all screwy, there's been a wobble to our planet, a wobble to the universe, all of this stuff, right? Um, why, why perhaps there's such great climate change besides our carbon emissions, besides that, because there's climate change on other planets, perhaps this is a big conspiracy. Now, if you don't know anything about Planet Nine, if you don't know anything about Nibiru, this is ancient Sumerian mythology, but it's grounded in a lot of science fact now, because they believe that this is, this is a thing, that there is this big, large planet that goes swoops way, way out in this big elliptical orbit and comes in. And they say every 10,000 years, but some people say 3,500, some people say 35,000. Everybody's got a different idea, but there's this planet and everybody's focused on this planet. Now it's called Planet Nine. And could this be the reason why you have um, the Ministry of Defense in India, they why you have um, Japan, why you have in, in Israel, right? Lots going on in Israel too. I'm gonna do a show tomorrow. I was gonna do it today about what's going on in Israel because you know they're 
Prime Minister Netanyahu just said that he's going to annex parts of the West Bank. He's just going to basically take it. So, you know, because there are all these settlements. And he says, once I'm elected, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. We took Golan Heights. Like, now's the time. So we're in the 71st year. This is, uh, it's our time. It's our time now to expand our territory. If you've been watching the channel long enough, um, you know that this is all building. And it's kind of like, and I said that that was probably going to happen. And it's, it, and it's just, here it is. Like a, a couple of days later, and then they're taking more territory. They're just saying they're going to do it. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting, spiritually speaking as well, because it means that perhaps it's time for us to take a little more spiritual territory in our lives, right? So while you got these space wars going on, you know, we got these heavenly wars going on too. And we're trying to keep all the danger away from us, all the bad stuff, all the bad thoughts. I went on a tangent. I went on a tangent. If you're new to the channel, I do that a lot. So just be ready, just be ready. Let's talk a little bit about the OSIRIS-REx mission. That's right, it's called OSIRIS-REx. Once again, I have videos on this. I don't even know how to link it. I, I'll try to link it at the end. If not, just go, to, um, just go to any playlist I have on this stuff, or just type in Nibiru Jacob Israel and you'll find it, because the OSIRIS-REx mission, it's interesting, okay? There, there, there's this, here's the thing. There's this gigantic asteroid in the shape of a diamond, and they called it Binu. All right, which is basically, it's kind of like the soul of Osiris in this, you know, some people call it a bird, some people call it a, a harbinger of doom, some people call it a, a phoenix, but it's the supposedly the soul of Osiris taking form to rebuild, rebirth, right? So they, uh, yeah, and um, this thing is, is uh, they thought it was going to be easier. They sent this, the OSIRIS-REx mission out there, and what it was going to do was it was going to, you know, basically orbit around this thing and then kind of go on down for a landing and then get some soil sample. And they were going to see what it's made of, and then they were going to also see if they, you know, blow the thing up, right? They didn't admit to that at first, but that's really, that's ultimately, they want to see. They want to see. But when they got there, the thing was too dirty because it was, you know, when you have these massive objects, they pick up a lot of other objects that just basically go in the orbit because of the mass of it. So everything's kind of sucked into that little, the mass of whatever that is moving in. So be new. So they're up there right now and they're waiting to find a way to, to land. So a lot of, a uh, lot of stuff, a lot of space war, a lot of space war is going on. Right? A lot of stuff. You got Trump's Space Force. Remember? The Space Force. Building the Space Force. I think that's really cool. Sign me up. Sign me up! So I can get out there in space and <laughs> have battles with the Anunnaki. You know, Jacob wrestled an angel. Right? And uh, there's actually, there's some, there's some books that, that, that have been written. And the idea is that Jacob actually wrestled an Anunnaki. An alien. That's what I'm waiting for, baby. WWE got nothing on me. I drop kicked that Anunnaki in his Anunnaki head. Coming on down, trying to trying to mess up the genetic race, man. Right? Are you going to convince everybody that you're Jesus? That's what a lot of people say, that when the aliens come, this is, prepare for the alien invasion. I'm not, I think it'll be a cool twist in the story, because really life is kind of a story, but I'm not too stressed about it. Because, I mean, look, it'll break up the day, right? It'll break up the day. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, don't be stressing out about this stuff, people. It's all just part of this awesome story that is your life. You're the lead character. You're the star. You're the hero, right? But <laughs> you can't overcome unless you find out that you're the child of God. When you find out who you are, and you have this unlimited potential within you, you start to understand that all of these things are working to get you in that place. Because let me tell you something. So a lot of people ask me, Jacob, what are you gonna do when the, when the, uh, the S hits the F? And I say, uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. You know why I'm okay? Because I have faith. Because I know that this ain't all there is for me. I'm not worried about the days to come. I'm actually pretty excited about them. And I hope you are too. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have the best day ever. And don't forget to uh, you know, share the video around, will you? Check the bell, like it. Do that stuff, subscribe, thank you for my patrons. I'm gonna start doing stuff on there. So, you know, the, the link's in the description. You wanna get involved, it's gonna be cool. You also, I, I send you a, a copy of my, uh, I send you a little present. I love each and every one of y'all. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.